The Chicago Fire Department celebrated new paramedics at last week's graduation, but some inside the department say it's not enough. We need more ambulances. We need more help out there. Matt Clohesse is a paramedic in charge, or PIC, on Chicago's west side. PICs are needed to staff each ambulance. Clohesse says he and other PICs are often asked to work days off. Although we have great jobs, we're super lucky to work here. It's still, you know, doing a run an hour, if not more, some days in the summer. There's days where I'll have 37, 38, 39 runs under my belt by the time it's time to go home. We're very close to a crisis point. Anthony Snyder is also a PIC in the back of the yards neighborhood. Both are officers for the Chicago Firefighters Union. Whether you're tired or not, somebody's got to work those things. And our members are uh, being asked to work over and over and over uh, these extra shifts. The city's firefighters and paramedics have worked for three years without a new contract. While these discussions are ongoing with the city, union officials urge higher pay for paramedics to take on supervisory roles and simply more paramedics. CFD tells us they have a sufficient number of paramedics, but what's needed are more PICs. The union president says he fears timely patient care could be in jeopardy. So mom has a heart attack, you call for an ambulance. All the ambulances are busy. You'll hear OEMC saying, is anyone available? Any ambulance, are you available? No ambulance is available. The city which negotiates the firefighters contract did not respond to our request in time for our deadline. Firefighters plan to make their appeal for more paramedics more public at NASCAR with a march down Michigan Avenue July 6th. Watch breaking news on YouTube. All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Wahabrachakadash, what Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh as you saw from that video clip, there's a uh, shortage of in paramedics out here in Chicago and I'll say this as well it's just not paramedics you know you have uh, a shortage in police officers firefighters nurses doctors etc okay and I'll say this you know a shortage in what, what you would call first responders is very serious okay because that's basically you know, the uh, lifeline of a society, you know, and if these things, you know, are in a um, in great need, as they're saying, then this place is crumbling, which, you know, we know as the uh, uh, prophets of Yahweh, we understand that we're at the end, okay, of this current kingdom, you know, which is, uh, 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 you know, America which is ran by Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Really, we're at the end of um, these Edomite society, okay? You know, we're really at the end of this. And you see, hey, the scriptures even say it, how there's uh, no wisdom in teeming, right? You know, there's no wisdom in these Edomites. Because see, these elites, all right, of, of the society, they believe that they can replace... You know, people with, you know, AI technology, okay? Or they believe that they can overwork their current employees instead of hiring new, um, you know, new employees, you know, to, 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 to their team just so they can save a couple bu uh, bucks, you know? And see, that's, uh, um, that's going to burn out these current employees and that's going to make them a uh, 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 rebel, okay? And as you heard at the very end of this segment here, they're, they're going to have a protest, okay? All right? They're going to go down the uh, uh, busiest street in Chicago, which is called Michigan Avenue, and they're going to protest. And that lines up with biblical prophecy where it says what? There's going to be uproars of the people, you see? And that's one of the signs... 
before Yahweh Shai makes his uh, uh, second return. That's in Matthew the 24th chapter. The, uh, 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 the disciples later turned apostles at that time. Asked Yahweh Shai when his second return is going to come, basically. All right. Or when he's going to establish the kingdom. Okay. And then what I mean by the kingdom is the kingdom of, uh, 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 of uh, uh, heaven. All right. As this world likes to call it, which is ultimately what? The kingdom of the Israelites. Which that consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? And, and, and like I said, one of the uh, uh, end-time prophecies is uproar, uproars of the people. Alright? Well, let me get this scripture here. In Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon, which that's America. It's a code name for uh, America, okay? Has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad. And it's not talking about literal. You know drink. You know you know, uh, uh, liquor basically. Okay. It's actually talking about philosophies. The ideologies that this place has. It pushes it to the rest of the world. And now that has made these nations. Uh, 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 two things. Crazy. Because th this is the definition of mad technically. Literally meaning crazy, okay, out of their mind. Which, if you're not following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you uh, have a, a mental issues, okay, because all of it leads to death and corruption, okay. You see, and um, that's one definition. The second is they're actually, you know, angry, you know, with this place, and this is why you're seeing all these different countries around the world. Coming up up against America, even if they're uh, so-called America's allies, you see. That's because America ha ha has destroyed basically the world. Okay, but let me keep reading. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And you see, there's no healing Babylon or America there is no making America great again America had its glory days already you know and they, they even uh, uh, talk about it in the um, in the history books they call it the uh, uh, the golden days or the golden era that's around the uh, 19 you know give or take the 1950s to, to 60s you know they even had a TV show uh, back in the day called what? Happy Days. And that's when um, America was, uh, 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 was on the top of its game. Okay? And in particular, white America. Okay? That's when they, they, they were living it up. White America was doing great. You know, they, they, they were able to buy nice uh, 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 suburban homes. Okay? You know, throughout, you know, uh, the United States, they're able to, you know, get two cars. The wife was able to stay at home. They had a perfect family. All the kids got straight A's. You know, all these other nations were, you know, uh, basically uh, 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 under the thumb of America. Okay. All these, uh, 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 you know, you know, in particular, you know, all these different um, nations all right, that lived in America, where we're obeying white, uh, uh, white America. All right, you know, and, uh, and like uh, in particular, uh, uh, the Israelites, the tribes, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, you had to listen to whatever the, the the white man said. All right, A.K.A. Esau. You know, eat of my supremacy. You see. That was back then. This is now. This is America in 2024. And, it, and this system is literally crumbling. Alright. It says forsake her. And let us go everyone into her own country. And this is talking about these foreigners. That come here. Eventually they're going to head back to their country. Because it's going to get so chaotic here. It says for her judgment. Reacheth unto heaven. And is lifted up even to the skies. And. Eventually this place will be judged greatly. And this place is going to, uh, first it's going to, um, 
rot from the inside out. And then eventually the Lord is going to destroy this place by thermal nuclear destruction. That, that is the judgment of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. All right, that's the end all be all of this place. All right, you see? Nothing's, um, like I said earlier, no, nothing's going to make this place bounce back again. Okay, but let me get this in uh, the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. And the reason why I brought this uh, out is because for the longest, these, um, you know, uh, elites who are running America, they have been very slothful, okay, and very slothful in keeping up with this uh, 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 with this kingdom here. Okay? You see? And now this house is falling apart. Alright? Whether it be spiritually, physically, monetarily, it doesn't matter which aspect you look at it. This place is crumbling and that's because they, they haven't kept up with it. You know? They've been cutting uh, uh, corners, you know, neglecting things, and now this is where we're at. You know, we got a shortage in, in first responders. And this, and I'll say this, they're going to need uh, to hire, you know, a... Uh, uh, um, if this place wants to, uh, you know, maintain itself, they're going to have to hire, uh, 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 you know, a, a slew of people, so to speak. All right. Because you got to remember with crime on the rise, you know, there's going to be more, you know, uh, 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 robberies, more, um, uh, 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 you know, people getting critically uh, uh, injured or fatally injured, you know. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on and they're going to need these paramedics. They're going to need these officers, these doctors, you know, see, uh, you know, America is through because there's no money in this place anymore. All right. A lot of people are even, I'll say this, even if there are uh, openings, a lot of these people are just mentally just destroyed. They're lazy. They'd rather be a TikTok star. A lot of people rather just live off the government. They have no drive anymore. You see? It's just done. It's just done. Or I'll say this. A lot of people, the reason why they don't um, uh, um, apply for these jobs is because they don't want to deal with legal reasons. Because in this society, you do one thing that can, you know, let's just say offend somebody. Or you may just honestly did a mistake, you know, at your job, and they're now trying to sue you. You know? Trying to fire you, sue you, take everything that you have, throw you in jail. So people are just tired of it. They don't even want to take the risk. See? This is where we're at in this thing. Hey, but it's a beautiful thing because... You know, we're at the uh, end of this. And you know what? I'll end, uh, end this uh, lesson with this scripture. This is, um, I believe it's in the book of Ecclesiastes as well. Um, yep, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The main uh, reason why I brought that out is the first part. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. You know, even though this uh, society is falling apart, it's going to get more rough out here. It's actually a good thing that it's ending because really, at the end of the day, this society was a, a, a was built on wickedness. Okay? It's not a righteous kingdom. So it's got to fall. Alright? In order for... Uh, um, you know, in order for that, that righteous society to be established. You see? This place must go down first. And since we're at the end of it, hey, it's better than the beginning of it. Alright? But, um, I'll say, I'll say this. You know, it, it, it's... First and foremost, 
that this is uh, 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 your great news, all right, for you Israelites, and then even the rest of the world, these other nations. Because when we get into rulership, you heathens are actually going to benefit off uh, of us being in power. You're actually going to uh, be able to really live, even though you're going to be in subjection unto us. But we're not going to be a wicked ruler. We're going to do things, you know, in, in equity, you know, fairness. You see? We're going to teach you the righteous ways. And you're going to prosper because of that. You know? And then for you Edomites, the, the, there is no good news for you. You're just going to be eliminated at, at the end of the day. you got to be destroyed. You know? You have to be, you know, exterminated. You, you're just the wicked. And the Lord, you know, is using you, you know, right now to, to uh, fulfill His will. But eventually, you're not going to be needed anymore. You see? And I know, that, you know, that that hurts, but it is what it is. Hey, don't take that up with me. Take that up with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? But, uh, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. I hope whoever uh, was listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.